Before looking at the different kinds of animals and their teeth, we're going to look at the background. Now, first, teeth are not made up of bone like the rest of a skeleton, but are made up of two mineralized tissues called enamel and dentin. Enamel is the hard calcified outer covering of a tooth that is made up of the same mineral as some types of rocks. Dentin, on the other hand, is a softer, more vulnerable type of material that serves as the last defense if something were to happen to the enamel. Teeth help assist animals by obtaining food and also by breaking down food for digestion. The specific mechanical functions of teeth, on the other hand, depend on the animal's diet and the animal itself. Some mechanical functions are the aid in piercing skin, tearing up meat, grinding up fibrous vegetables and plant-like minerals and materials, using the teeth to hold food, and some animals use combinations of these. Let's talk about the different diets. Although there are many different groups, categories, and subcategories of diets, there are three types that are considered the main ones. The herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are the vegetarians, meaning that they only eat plants. An interesting thing about the herbivores is that they have evolved to be able to consume and digest these large amounts of plants, whereas non-herbivore animals and organisms are not physically able to do that. Carnivores are animals that are classified as meat eaters, meaning that they only eat other animals in order to gain their nutrition. Carnivores usually have sharp teeth and strong jaws, which they typically need to successfully catch and eat their food. Omnivores are animals that eat pretty much anything. An omnivore's diet is made up of both plant matter and meat. The meat portion is where the animals would get the majority of their protein. Now let's look at a few animals. First, let's take a look at human teeth. Humans are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. When looking at the inside of a human mouth, we can see that they have four different types of teeth that each have their own function when eating. The incisors that are located at the front of the mouth are used to cut food. Following the incisors are going to be the canines. Their job is to tear up the food. After the canines are the premolars, which crush the food. And lastly, located in the back of the mouth, are the molars that grind up the food into tiny pieces. This way we can swallow our food easier. Next, we will look at the teeth of wolves and dogs. Like humans, wolves and dogs have all four types of teeth. The only difference is their enlarged canines that have adapted based off their diet. While wolves are carnivores, dogs are actually omnivores. Even though wolves and dogs are closely related, their diets differ based off their environment. We know that wolves live out in the wild and hunt their food, which is usually other animals. Dogs, on the other hand, have become household pets, and their diet can consist of meat, fruits, and vegetables. If you take a look at the diagram of a cow's mouth, you'll notice that only their incisors and molars are labeled. This is because cows only have incisors and molars present, and their canines are absent. This is because they only eat grains and grass. This diet makes them herbivores. Since a cow's diet only consists of plants and they can contain hard stems, they chew with a side-to-side -side motion instead of an up-and-down motion, like humans do. This is so their molars can shred the food into tiny pieces. With rodents, they put their focus onto their molars, but especially their incisors, which constantly grow from birth to death. Because of this, they must use their large growing teeth to gnaw on objects to keep them manageable. Most rodents take advantage of this trait to do tasks like chopping down a tree or creating a passageway. The way they gnaw typically results in a sharp chisel shape. Reptiles tend to have countless conical teeth, meant more for grabbing than anything we talked about before. Most are carnivorous or omnivorous and tend to swallow their food whole. Reptiles are a very large group of animals and so there's a lot of variety in what they can eat. Shark teeth are razor sharp, and are even composed of the same material used for their scales, called denticles because of this. They can constantly replace their many rows of teeth throughout their lives. When one falls out, the one behind it simply takes its place, while a new one is made in the back of its mouth. The shape of a shark's tooth is suited towards its diet, and can be used 
for crushing, tearing, or simply grabbing, depending on the type of shark. Whales can have teeth, but most have a material called baleen. Baleen is a type of long, plate-like material that are stacked against each other. This allows whales to use a process called filter feeding. The whale takes a big gulp of water, holds it in its mouth, the whale then shuts its mouth, leaving a gap for its teeth to show. It then pushes the water through the baleen, but the food can't get out because the spaces between the baleen are too small. Then it closes its mouth and swallows.